Similar to this, we have added the ability to disable inactive users. So not only can you set expiration dates on a particular user who you want to expire after a certain amount of time, but you can also set up a, a job in the scheduler application to automatically disable users who have been active, inactive for a certain number of months. Um, I will demonstrate that here now. Um, we can see uh, this is the new scheduler application, which I'll get into in a minute, um, but I'm going to go ahead and just create a new job. This is going to be called disable inactive users. Oops. Disable inactive users. And I can select the, uh, the new job type, which is disable inactive users as well. Um, I can set this to run, let's say, every week. I'm going to insert that preset here. Uh, and I can then select a number of inactive months. This can be anywhere from one to 24 months. Um, and this will disable any user that hasn't uh, been active in the DHS2 system for that amount of time. So if I set this to 24, any user who hasn't been inactive in uh, two years will be automatically disabled when this job is run, uh, which happens every week in this case. Uh, if I then made this one, um, one month, it would uh, basically disable any user account when that user was inactive for one month. Um, so you can tune this as you'd like. You can then save that job, uh, and it will uh, begin to run every Monday at 3 AM, as I set it to run, uh, and that will disable any users who have been inactive for one month at that time. 